going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Arsenio Buck Show. Today I'm going to be discussing when you gotta let someone go. I'm not going to put too many particulars into here because again, this person could just so happen listen to me. But I find it very odd that, you know when I first met this person, right? It was an acquaintance. I went to Jack in a Box. It was 2010. I was getting ready to graduate from my dental assistant certificate. And I was getting a teeth cleaning, right? So there were some residents that were, you know, some people who were, you know, getting ready to become dental hygienists. So they were dental hygienists in training. I saw one of the girls who actually had cleaned my teeth for free at Jack in a Box. And then there was another girl there. And we ended up becoming friends from there. And so her and I were exchanging ideas and I'm talking to her about, you know, my, you know, what I'm going to be doing next year, going to Australia, doing this, doing that. And after I came back from Australia, I think I hung out with her probably one or two times, but she said something that very, that really irked me. And it was saying, you know, her being a hygienist and especially out there in America, she gets a considerable amount. All those, all she's doing is just, you know, scraping teeth. No offense, no offense to anyone out there, right? But. She was like, oh, so if I go to Thailand, that means I'll be rich. She said it in a very snobby tone, and I'm like, you know what? That's very asshole-ish for you to say. And from that point, I don't remember talking to her for about three years, because I'm like, you know what? That type of garbage, yeah, you know, that type of mentality, I just don't like being around people like that. I had a good amount of self-awareness. That was three years ago, okay? So you could only imagine how I am now. So... Here we go, where, we, you know, we messaged each other probably about two or three times last year, right? And then she said, hey, I'm going to be going out there to Thailand. I said, oh my God, this will be a great time for us to meet. Now, considering the past, but saying, hey, you know what, she's going to be here. The, what, the least I could do is just meet up with her and just see how she's doing after like seven years. And so, here I am. Uh, yo, I'm exchanging details, telling her where to stay and where to do this and where to do that. And then, all of a sudden, she was supposed to leave like mid-January, no, mid-February, and so yesterday, I had to go out of my way to say, hey, where are you? You said you were going to be in Phuket, you said you were going to go to Cambodia, you said you were going to come here, what's going on? And I don't know what she said, but it was kind of like a big shove. And then another one, she said after that, she's like, eh, I'll message you later, I had like an airline cancel, I completely understand that, but Understand that we are within arm's reach away and having an attitude when you have someone here like me to help you with different types of travel arrangements is actually a little bit, you know, it's good. again, a little asshole-ish. So I'm like, listen, I'm just trying to figure it out because you're here on this day, this day, and this day. I want to make sure that I have time because I have this and that. And then the final piece of this was she said, you do you. That's kind of like saying you do whatever you want. Some people would say, no, you do you, meaning, okay, do what you need to do. But no, you are here from America. You're traveling around here. You haven't said anything about being in Phuket. You haven't messaged me about this. Okay, you're not, okay, let's just say you're not by your phone. But when I sent you a message yesterday, you read my message within like 10 seconds. Listen, I'm here to kind of like say, hey, we're, we're supposed to meet up. And now after saying that, you do you, we'll figure something out. That's kind of not good enough. I'm on a schedule. Now, if you, uh, I'm over, and, and it's crazy because just a week ago, I'm giving her all types of tips. Hey, okay, stay over here. Do this. Don't do this. Don't do that. I'm helping her out a considerable amount. And then all of a sudden... You give me this standoff, this standoffish, cold shoulder, rude kind of, hey, uh, you do you. No, how about, how about you say, okay, I understand. I acknowledge the fact that you have some classes. Listen, okay, Wednesday evening, Thursday evening. Let's do this. Let's get together from this time to this time. Okay, let's say travel arrangements. She can't, really can't, she doesn't really figure, she can't figure things out. Okay, say this, say this, say this. See, guys. I know so much about personal development, and the problem is that 99% of the population in the world doesn't. So when you say something to me like that, you're making it seem like uh, I'm going to hold you off. When I am there, I'm going to notify you. No. Listen, you're from, you literally traveled from Las Vegas. Let me know what the hell is going on. 
Hey, Arsenio! Okay, flights suck. This is what happens when I fly Air Asia. Lesson learned. Hey, okay, so Wednesday I'm going to be coming in. The girls, they want to do this, they want to do that. Let's meet up at this time. Are you cool? Okay, yeah. Okay, Thursday, let's do this. Uh, do you have any spots for this? A recommend day? There's nothing. And I'm like, okay. I thought about it. And I said, Arsenio, these are shades of 2013. These are shades of 2011. Now, 2011, she was much more level-headed before she had become a dental hygienist. Now, I'm not going to go so far to say something else, but I had a friend become a nurse just recently in another country, and once she became a nurse, she became an asshole. I'm just saying, I'm not saying all nurses out there are assholes. I'm not saying all dentists are assholes, kind of. I'm not saying all the... I'm not saying that, but I am saying that careers and money do not change you they expose you for who you are so in 2011 before this specific individual had be went into this career path she was down to earth genuine amazing now she's got that uh, yeah uh, 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 listen i'm good i'm not saying all americans are like this but that right there i have it i have a feeling right there it's an instinct and it's intuitive nudge and it's kind of like a gut punch. And it says, Arsenio, don't fuck with her. You can do plenty of other things, man. You can kick rocks. You can throw stones into a fucking ocean and have more fun with that. Why? Because she's not acknowledging the fact that I am on a schedule. She's not acknowledging the fact that, hey, I'm just fucking an arm's reach, a reach away. So going back to the nurse, you know, before she was a nurse, before she was going to school, she was down to earth. And now when I hear her speak from time to time. The tonality and everything, it's bad. It's very rude. It's very arrogant. It's very medical-ish. It's very doctor-ish. It's very dentist-y, right? Meaning that, I'm not saying everyone in every country because I know a doctor in Afghanistan and she's the most amazing person on the planet with the most per the wonderful personality. Now, I'm scared because if she does go to America, I hope she doesn't adopt that arrogant-ass personality. That most doctors have. I'm not saying all doctors have this. Because I know doctors in this country in Thailand. Who I'm friends with. And they're fucking amazing. But for some reason in America. It's like I got a higher salary. Therefore I can treat everyone like a piece of shit. You see what I mean? People. Eight minutes in. Here we go. This is your lesson. Lesson learned. Okay. Do not mess with people. Do not give people the time of day. Who don't acknowledge you have a schedule. Who don't acknowledge that you've known them for more than a half decade or even a decade or even up to a decade and a half in some instances. If you feel, you're going to feel something. If someone says something and you're like, whoa, and you have like a jump back, that's called your intuition speaking. And your intuition is speaking saying, hey, this is a nice little wake up call. This person's kind of an asshole. I don't want you to, you know, hang out with this person. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys this moment right now. Because there are far other people out there. There are far more other people out there who are way more considerate. I know CEOs making a hell of a lot more money than these specific individuals. And they are down to earth. So, do not waste your time with assholes. That's all I'm trying to tell you. It sucks because, you know, you would, I, you know another instance, and before I top this off in a minute, there was a girl that I used to work with. Her name was Cindy. Cindy had visited from Las Vegas. She was traveling all around Asia. She came here to Bangkok. And I said specifically, I said, if you stay at Khao San Ro, which is full of lady boys, no offense to lady boys, but they have a tendency of stealing shit. And a bunch of European backpackers, which equates to druggies and people who come here to smoke marijuana and get drunk and live on little to nothing. I'm not going to go there. And guess what? She ended up staying there. And I said, hey, I'm sorry. I have so much dignity that I can't go to a place like that because it's the most toxic place on the planet. And it's just, that's not where I want to be. And so, again, bringing this full circle, guys, if something tells you don't do it, please listen to that voice. You guys hear it, but you choose to ignore it. This is in relationships or anything in general. So I'm your host as always. That's your message for today. Over and out.